Hi everyone, my name is Walter Rowe. I'm a Capture One affiliate, and today I'm going to explore importing Aperture libraries into Capture One catalogs uh, when they have RAW plus JPEG stacks in the Aperture library. I received a question from a guest blog I did on the Capture One website. Uh, the question was whether uh, RAW plus JPEG stacks um, import the RAWs and the JPEGs. And I did some experiments and have some answers to that question. And I want to demonstrate for you uh, these answers. Here I'm going to import uh, several images. And you can see that I have um, these pictures here that are RAW and JPEG of the same picture. Here's the RAW, here's the JPEG, here's a RAW, here's a JPEG. And I'm going to import them into this new empty aperture library. And notice in the bottom right corner, there, I'm sorry, in the right hand side inside Apple Aperture, we can say raw plus JPEG pairs. We can uh, import them uh, separately as originals, which means that the raw and the JPEG are treated as separate pictures. Or we can import them as raw, uh, both of them as a stack with raw as the original and then the JPEG would be hidden underneath, or JPEG as original and the RAW would be hidden underneath. Or we can import the JPEGs or the RAWs only. I'm going to import them as RAW as original and import both of them. So I'm going to, all of them are checked, so I'm going to import them. And here we have them imported. And I uh, now you see we only have four, what looks like four photographs here. If I click the photos, uh, I see what appears to be four photos. If we uh, zoom in to uh, the, uh, the screen here, uh, we can see that on the lower right hand corner, there's an R uh, that represents the fact that these are stacks, but that the raw file is used as the original. If I right click, I can say use JPEG as original, and now you'll see there's a J there instead of an R. So I'm going to leave this as a raw file as original for now. And now we have them imported into our um, Aperture library. I'm going to close this Aperture library, and I'm now going to open Capture One. Here I have a Capture One library, or a catalog, which is completely empty. In the Capture One catalog, I'm going to import a Aperture library. This tells you what gets imported. And I'm going to choose uh, the, let me go find my uh, catalog that I, my library that I created. This is it, raw plus JPEG. I'm going to import this. So notice that it says that it imported four successfully. Even though there's eight files in the Aperture library, it only looks like four. And notice that it imported the raw files only because the raw files are what were indicated to be the originals for the stack. Now I'm gonna close this Capture One catalog And I'm going to go back to Apple Aperture. I'm going to select all of these stacks. I'm going to right click and say use JPEG as original. And we can see that the J in the bottom right hand corner of each of these stacks indicates that they're now using JPEG as the original. Now I'm going to quit Apple Aperture. You always have to quit the applications in between so that you can uh, know that there's no open files. Uh, the applications won't read each other's files uh, if the other application is open. So we go back to Capture One. Here we are. 
Now notice we have the four original files that we imported, which were the NEFs, the raw files. Now I'm going to import Aperture Library. I'm going to go back and I'm going to select the same library. Now it says it imported four more files. And if we look in our Capture One catalog, we see that the files are the JPEG files. If I look at the import dates, I have two imports. Here's the JPEG files, and here's the NEF files. They're noted as two separate imports, uh, but they're all here. There's the JPEG, there's the NEF, JPEG, NEF. So what's interesting is that the Capture One Apple Aperture Importer is only picking up what is marked as the original for the RAW Plus JPEG stack. If the RAW files are marked as original, it imports the RAW file. If the JPEG is marked as original, it imports the JPEG. I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to delete them from the Capture One library, Capture One catalog. I'm not going to delete them from disk. I'm just going to remove them from the catalog. I'm going to delete these user collections that got created during the import. I'm going to delete this reference to disk. It's not really referencing anything anyway. I'm going to quit. Now I'm going to go back to Apple Aperture. Yes, go ahead and repair. Now I'm going to just select two of these stacks and tell it to use raw as original. So we have two stacks that have raw as original and we have two stacks that have JPEG as original. What I expect to happen is that I'll get four images imported. Two will be raws and two will be JPEGs. Close Apple Aperture. Go back into Capture One. Import Apple Aperture Library. Select my RAW plus JPEG library. Indeed, I imported four images. And I got NEF, JPEG, NEF, JPEG. I got the exact results I anticipated. Two RAWs and two JPEGs. So this is just to help illustrate uh, quickly that when you do import Apple Aperture Libraries into Capture One catalogs, if you have RAW plus JPEG stacks, the format of the file that's marked as the original in each of those stacks is the format of file that Capture One will import. So if you have a JPEG marked as the original and there's a RAW file underneath, only the JPEG will be imported. If you have the RAW file marked as original with JPEG underneath, then only the RAW file will be imported. I hope this is helpful and answered some questions for some folks, and I look forward to sharing more videos with you. Thanks.